operational research began in the First World War when science was introduced in order to improve on military operations. In February 1917, German U-boats intensified their assault on Britain's Atlantic supply line, sinking one in ten ships sailing every month. British scientists analysed all available data and created the best possible model to help the convoy survive. They were optimised for size, speed and timings for sailings. Just six months later, losses were down to a remarkable 1 in 200, not only saving lives, but critically contributing to the survival of Great Britain. By 1934, analysts had identified a new problem. Simulations showed that in the event of war, German bombers could easily deliver a knockout blow. By 1938, this knockout blow could be delivered in just 24 hours. The British government asked a group of scientists to explore the feasibility of using radio waves to create a death ray which could shoot down or cook approaching bombers. Instead, scientists demonstrated how radio waves could detect and range aircraft and radar was born. However, technology alone was not enough. Working in close partnership with RAF officers, the new team was able to combine scientific research with operational experience to create the greatest air defence system in the world. This groundbreaking approach was rapidly integrated to a network of both military and civilian defence assets. With operational research, it enabled the earliest possible detection and interception of enemy aircraft. By the Battle of Britain, radar had increased Fighter Command's defensive capability by a factor of 10, and operational research doubled this to a factor of 20. In 1948, the Operational Research Club was founded, which five years later became the Operational Research Society. After the war, the scientists and officers involved in this pioneering approach found jobs in government, manufacturing, banking, health services, business, transport, defence, sport and well beyond, taking the knowledge and insight of operational research with them where it has been solving problems and supporting decisions with science ever since.